Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more Fallout. Cave of the Mother Seed. So okay, I'm just just I was just checking to make sure everything's still recording right. I've been doing a session of videos, just to make sure everything's good to go, and we're good. Yes, it's been behaving itself. Now I've said that videos will get corrupted, man. Have to restart, all that fun stuff. Gimli, were you in here? Oh. I don't want to step in that water, except poo gas water. I'm going to take all these fruits of cane, because I'm going to item. Mire lurks. Shotgun. You me? What matter of thing is that?
There we go. Buff my armor up significantly. Yeah, now I can keep stuff in pristine condition all the time. But you repair things, I ain't got none of that stuff. Make sure this is something under the water, so it's the alternate route. It's got really like overcast and dark out. Like it is actually quite dark. To experience. More than fireworks. You tried sneaking up on me, but you failed. That action boy is really helping out. I can definitely see a high agility build working in these Fallout games, that's for sure. Because that's usually what I would run in Fallout 1 and 2, is a high agility, somewhat high perception build. Uh, that was mainly just because it made my life a lot easier Combat. 
Yeah, yeah. It's still in pretty good shape. Can't stay in the water now. This is why it's pretty shallow to jump through it. Not take too many rads. Well, at least having a met tow bar, even after everything's all so oh, they weren't kidding that thing's bigger than man. I could always get more hunger for you know, or using it as a shop at least. It's basically going to use it for my healing for a while out here. Well, game over. We died. We lost forever. It's done. What's this? Another trap. How stupid are you? Uh oh. I can check my right map. Okay, so we just gotta get out of here. Okay, this is the sacred ball area. One situation you're not gonna be able to fight your way out of. So walk my way out of it. Where my rad's at? Oh. Keep it up. You're almost there. Wherever there may be, probably nowhere. It's true. Um, what? Guys, I'm tripping balls. Uh, uh, that's where to go now. Isn't it funny how everything you get close to ends up leaving? There's like invisible ghouls chasing after me. Let's get out of here! Ah. Ah. Uh, now I'm walking on the tree canopies and just how the grass above me. This doesn't look right. Not right at all, I know. 
<laughs> and now there's a needle and thread trying to sew the ground. I'm going to ignore that. Blech. I can look like that. I have a bandit too. Oh, come on. Oh, that's supposed to be your mom. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mara? Over lions? Oh, this is just like. Moira! There's the Megaton, dude. Dead mother, life in a pope's nuclear wasteland, and not a friend in it. Yeah, you are exactly blessed. Congratulations, my boy. You're going to pull through, and everything will be right as rain. No, no, don't, don't try to. You won't hurt yourself. The frick was that? Busted, busted. Oh. All right, let's check the map. Okay, I keep these go first. I need her to repair my hat. Oh, we do. Certainly, Madame Panada is quite handy with a wrench. Of Madame Panada's Ooh, she's restocked. Nice. Let's go to that. That. Keep in those. Send that. Okay. Rippers are fun. Mm, don't need that. What I need ammo. Those. All that. What else could I use? Not so much that right now. Not so much really anything else. I got plenty of everything else. We'll just take the actually wait, we're gonna get them crap those stim packs. So those to get one more stim pack and then flame refuel. Get the rest up. Why can't I wear my hat? Oh, 
Uh, did the game just glitch out? I can't wear my goddamn hat anymore. You son of a biscuit. <sighs> I can't wear my hat. What do you got for a helmet? Once again. All of Madame Panada's wares are top quality. I'm not wearing a Confederate hat. This is not hat. It was freaking junk. Just give me that. Certainly. Madam Panada is quite handy with a. Can't wear any helmets. Okay, hold on. Safety save. Let's just check something here. Yeah, because that thing broke, I can't wear helmets now. Freaking bugged up goddamn game. <sighs> okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'll pause it, and I'll meet you guys right back here. So, I'm done. I, I, said, I, I haven't done this in a long, long time. There's no nothing that's glitched out. If you look at my head, that's why I can't put a hat on right now. Which is stupid, but it's a thing. It's a thing. All right, so we're back. Um, you know, I do want to go over to her shop again and do that stuff. So, yeah. Because I made sure to repair my hat before I went and did all that stuff. Oh, I knew. Of course, I learned many tricks so we'll from my father. Repair that again. Make sure it's good. And we'll what is it you would again. like to purchase? I found one Meyer work week that time. <clears throat> I did save over my last box. I thought the game had glitched. I am dumb, but you know, that's why you're here is to watch me do stupid things. Alright. <sighs> let's, let's go get the bullets. All those. All those. All that. Fine. Flavor fuel. And I want your stem packs. Let's see those back. I like to leave the vendors with a few caps. Okay, can I go put my hat back on now? Who lobotomied me? You are welcome to our tribe. I don't need that crap in my inventory. Truly, the Mother Panga has bestowed her wisdom upon you, and your mind has been expanded. Does my head hurt so much? That is merely the sensation of your consciousness rushing to embrace its true potential. It is the feeling of having no boundaries, no limits. Yea, though your body will bear the scars of the ritual, your soul shall be forever strengthened by the experience. You are now welcome in our cathedral. Enter, enlightened brother. Punga power. You now receive better effects from eating punga fruit. Okay. That's cool. So why did you attack the mansion? 
Our most enlightened one divined that the fates themselves did decree the mansion must be burnt to the ground. What do you believe in? We espouse the expansion of the perfect mind and the rejection of the corrupt physical. The material world is destroyed and imperfect. We seek to release our minds from their tainted cages so as to find a better world. Least Leader? That would be Jackson, a man of great wisdom. He has withdrawn to his cavern of communion, the better to contemplate the unknowable. Only the righteous are trusted to know where this nexus of understanding lies. And alas, I am not so blessed. Alas, only the worthy may enter his nexus of meditation. He has not seen fit to enlighten me. It is a gift from the Earth itself, in acknowledgement of our perfect balance with nature and the higher planes. She recognizes that we seek to leave behind the corrupt physical, and she nurtures us in our quest. I need to Blessings go. to you on your... That's nice. That's nice. Find okay. Wild. Well, let's explore the grounds. Good for selling at least. Eating. Best. Yeah, well, I'd have a lot easier time with stepping on rakes and smacking myself in the face with them. There we go. I guess this way was a uh, shopkeeper. Okay, I'm gonna go like overboard these things, so let's not. <laughs> Oh, they've reduced five rats now. Quite. That's cool. Uh, what's my... Yeah, I've got too many. Alright, we're not going to pick all of them. Trans Pardon me while I commune with the higher Pardon me plane. while I commune Please with the Please wait until plane. my meditations... Nadine! Looks like another newbie in the tribe. And still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one? I mean, lucky. You still remember your name? Math? How's your memory? When I came back, there were bits in my memory where all I could recall was a white light and a jumble of voices. Crazy, huh? But you're not drooling, so you're doing okay. The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. Uh, wait, what? You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual. After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back, cut open your skull, and free your mind. As in, you rips out a bit of your brain. It's supposed to be the part that holds you back, but that doesn't always work out so good. Anyway, you look like a lively one, so welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. 
your mother asked me to find you. Look, it's not that I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma, even if she does make me want to claw my eyes out sometimes. It's just, I came out here to find a fortune, to make my mark, to be able to bring something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back eventually. Just not quite yet. Get rid of my scar. You're a lucky one. And it probably didn't do any permanent damage. Scar will heal up on its own and you'll be good as new. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk of brain, but it looks like you didn't need that bit anyway. Now hold still and I'll see if I can help you look like your old self again. Yay. Who cut open my head? Yeah, it's all a little fuzzy for me, but I've got a hunch. I'm gonna go do some snooping, see what I can figure out. Meet me by the riverboat in a day or so, and maybe I'll have something for you. Working for Jackson. Off at his magical thinking cave, I guess. We're not allowed to know where it is. He says we're not enlightened enough to understand. I swear that sort of stuff pisses me off so much. I thought joining would be all drugs and magic, but it's just the same crap as everywhere else. Guess that's why I trailed Jackson to his stupid mystery cave. Looks like you're having much fun here. I only been here a week or so, but I'm about ready to ditch this bunch of dummies. I already stole all the punga I could ever need. Hey, if you still want to know where Jackson's hiding, I can help you out. No reason for me to give a damn about this place, you know? His cave's under the cathedral, but it's hard to find. Use this key to get in through a wrecked ship down at the sea cliffs to the east. Thank you. Why did you attack the mansion? Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was all Jackson's crazy idea. I knew better than to volunteer for that suicide mission. Last time I wandered too close to that mansion, some old ghoul sicked his dogs on me. Screw that. What is this, a date? You start making a move and it's no. stabbing time. <laughs> No, really. What? There's not much to say. I ran off from home to see the world and find a fortune. And I'm doing it now, okay? Well, there's not much... Not complete. You got some crime over here. Some moonshine. Be at least a shop here, which would be a reason to, you know, maybe help these guys out, but no. Traded those tribals yet? Found out where their leaders hiding. And you didn't go track him down and grill him for information. I'm not your daddy. Don't waste your time checking in. Go find him and figure out what he wants with this place, you moron. Back to business. Yes, I got my hat back. Oh, I'm sneaking. Okay. Where are we going? Back up to here. And we'll call the video here. And next time... Actually, hold on. Let's go back to the boat and drop off some of these fruits. Oh. Just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of his boat now. 
Wait, tow barge? Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the Pungaseeds gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for Punga fruit to trade. <laughs> Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under citizen's arrest, sort of. It sounds pretty wacko, right? Well, I wouldn't have believed me either until I snuck a peek in Tobar's engine room. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love. Preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. Can't remind me not to mess with you. Damn right. Now, why can't the rest of the world figure that one out? So, that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn, if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. I think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. Yeah, enough Gavin. Nice. Alright. Time to pull out old Betsy. Somebody. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler. And oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end. One way or another. Yeah, that's a buckshot on the house. This is close. That's actually not bad. Not there. Well, hey, speedy cat. Boo. Well, that took care of that now. Back to here. A couple of these for the road. Broth. That's cat. Oof. I've always got like half an inch of room to move a mouse around. <laughs> Oh well, if this is like Dragon Quest, there's always something in the way. Well, well, well. Well, oh, of course, it's a graveyard. Gotta be ghouls. to kiss her. Shine with a face so hard his arms flew off. 
Can I get a glowing one that quick? That's good. Sniper Elite, we would have got a testicle shot on that one. <laughs> what you need on? Some ghouls out here. I wonder if there's like something in this graveyard worth it. Get usually have something on them worth looting. That's why I like fighting. They don't, usually you don't get a lot of experience off of them, but you usually get something worth your time. I like this backwater rifle. It's pretty good. Ammo's plentiful, cheap. Experience. It's good.
not trying to get the cat to move a little bit. I mean, I literally I want to be bumping him in the nose with my mouse. I know, bud, but you're, I'm trying to play the game. He's pushed against my hand now. Good boy. I, I literally, I, I can't even move my hands. He's got, he's pressing down on my thumb. the laser beams. Gosh, there's a swamp lurk. No. Swinging a miss. Mysterious stranger to come out. That dude ain't freaking showing up for nothing. Let's eat some of our food. Fruit. Seriously, speed is it, it's getting ridiculous. You're so good. You kind of just figure a better way. Yeah, Speedy, I've been on this diet and you ain't got much uh, fluff there to make biscuits on. I mean, there's a little bit, but it ain't like what it was, was it? Whoa. <laughs> so I'm pretty much done with this diet. I've lost like 20 pounds or so. I mean, I'm gonna still keep at it because it's giving me plenty of. Uh, More, a lot more energy. Finish him up. I don't his eye. This dude is in this cave with all these fireworks. There's something in cahoots here. Son! Astral knowledge of simpleton, psychic domination, 
So, a little bit more going on here. But white. Hello? You are a fellow seeker of the higher planes, perhaps. What brings you here? Well, the travel leader. I may be the man who leads our physical affairs, but I cannot claim true wisdom. I take my orders from a higher master. Whether it be how to explore higher planes, or the decision to remove the disruptive ghoul, all wisdom comes from the transcendent master. May I meet the transcendent master? It is very rare that others are permitted to commune with the master. Many are too foolish to understand the great truths of his higher mind. But I sense in you a great potential. Perhaps you have what is needed to accept his teachings and grow from his wisdom. He manifests here, high on a ledge in the great sea caves. Well, seek him out, and all shall be revealed. We take no pleasure in violence. Our goal was merely to remove the ghoul. His presence is an offense to the Transcendent Master's astral dominion. I cannot claim to understand the exact reasons that the mansion's residents... So these guys are actually harmless, they're just dumb. To understand fully, ask the Master. Yes, commune with him while I see to my tribe. There is much to be done. Yeah, there's lots of, like, tribes. Yes, fellow seeker? Talk to you. No, can't start laying on the keyboard. Uh, there's lots of tribes. I'd rather find put one. Just eat of the fruits. Full of hit points and clean of radiation. Heck are you? What you are interacting with is merely a holographic projection, and a rather clumsy one at that, but it's all I can manage at the moment. As for myself, you gaze upon one of America's greatest minds, preserved for the miracles of science. Much more elegant than shambling on to some rotting corpse for all eternity, don't you agree? Jackson believes me to be some kind of god. You think that would be good, but his interpretations of my commands leave something to be desired. Regardless, I trust you can be more effective than he has been. I need your help for an important task. There's a troublesome ghoul who lives in Calvert Mansion. I need him destroyed and his jamming device neutralized immediately. Uh, what have you got against the ghoul? How about Desmond? Desmond. That bag of bones and bile will pay dearly for his trespasses. Were it not for his interference, I would still have a body. Still, its absence is only over my brilliance, so perhaps I owe it my thanks. An appreciation I've shown the form of a quick and messy death. <laughs> of course I did, but that moron thought it was one of his adult visions. The real goal was to destroy the ghoul's jamming device. Honestly, those fools aren't worth the meat they're made of. A minion that can't follow directions is no use at all. Yes, away with you. What a dick. Alright. I don't like him. Desmond Shady's all good out, but at least he's honest with me. That guy's just a douchebag. Oh, that's where we came up at. Okay. Alright, we've gone way too long in this video. Pair this sucker up. That's good. And the shotgun is pretty much max. 
of speak and behave. He's a sweet boy. He's a sweet boy. He's just got their cuts. Alright, so. Grab a couple more of these. Road. And let's see. We got, we'll make it an even hour long video. Just kind of explore the outskirts of the church here. Here she finally got up. Gosh, I love you to death, baby, but sometimes it's just a bit much. <laughs> I have to be touching you. Get my mouse in order. Sorry. He's saying there's like stuff down here. Let's go check this out down here. USS Osmandius. Is this like a, uh, what was that, the, um, Watchmen? Watchmen reference. Do I have a hope? Down below, let's put Bomb Betsy on. Oh, Natural gas survey vessel. Okay. Sleep in these cots. Boom. Alright, well, we found another side quest. Sweet. We'll start working on that. Alright. 
let's check all the moonshine we'll call video. Good thing, sweetie. Tonics brewed and bottled. Here's your pay and a cut of the batch. Enjoy it. You're an eager one, ain't you? I have to let the still air out a few days between brews. Check back with me later. Why? Awesome. Okay, so he's just a little shot. Okay, so good. We got more stuffs, more loot. Um, let's go drop off some stuff. Let's go back to the boat, drop some things off, then we'll call it. No, we'll keep that for eating. Okay. Alright guys, next time on Fallout 3. We'll back over here. This. And I will catch you all on the next Fallout 3. Later.